This is a uh, special edition of Behind the Coach's Desk. Uh, usually Coach Profit's hosting it. This time he's behind the desk. I'm Eric Holt, the SID. Uh, Coach, you guys have already started your uh, wrestling season. Talk about the first meet of the year. Uh, yeah, first meet of the year was actually uh, right in our back door uh, at Euler, uh, the Trojan Open, which was their first uh, tournament that they had in their school's career, uh, being the first Division One school in 15 years. It was a very good tournament. Um, you know, not a big crowd of uh, participants, but enough for us to see what we need uh, to get done this season. Uh, some good competition. We see uh, solid wrestling. Uh, we won some some solid matches. We lost uh, some some tough ones, but lessons was learned, and uh, I think it uh, it was definitely a great opener for us having uh, three guys place Christian Richard finishing finishing second, and uh, Kishma Davis, who wrestled and attached for us, uh, finished six along with uh, Alejandro Moss, last, who was our true freshman last year. And talk a little bit about uh, practice, how that went in the off season, and then what you felt like the team could be coming out. Uh, so when it comes to our, we definitely had a great, um, we had a great uh, preseason camp. Uh, the guys trained uh, pretty tough, looked really good. The games were there in the sense of in the weight room. Um, their conditioning kind of they hit uh, the point where didn't where we need them to by the time we got into the room to start practicing. Uh, now that we are actually in the room rolling around and getting things ready to go, uh, this is a much focused team that I've had in, in a long time. Um, from my upperclassmen to my freshmen, they all understand um, there's a goal in hand what we're trying to accomplish as a team and what they need to accomplish as individuals. So uh, practice action has been very productive. Um, the guys are learning a lot, asking a lot of questions. Uh, it's a very good room to be part of right now. Talk a little bit about the freshmen, the newcomers on the team, and, and what they bring to the table for you. I think this this class, um, the difference between classes we had in the past is, you know, they lack experience, which is actually a very good thing, um, meaning that they gravitate to everything that myself and our assistant coach, Coach Kuna, is teaching them. Um, because they, they don't have that many years of experience behind them. I think the, the most year we have is probably a guy that wrestled three-year varsity. After that, you have one or two-year guys. But they wrestle tough. They wrestle with a lot of heart, um, and they're soaking it all in. So there's no risk of burnout uh, due to the fact that they lack experience uh, in that aspect. And our, like I said, our upperclassmen are, are very, very strong, and, found, and the foundation of unity between that uh, gravitates the new guys, and so that, that base is very strong um, when it comes with our new guys. Talk about those returners a little bit. You mentioned Christian, you mentioned Alejandro, but talk about some of the other guys as well. Yeah, so you know, Alejandro Moss, who was our true freshman last year, uh, he's back up at 157. Christian, who came for us to us in the spring of last year, this is actually his first uh, preseason fall semester, and he's, he's showing what I already knew was in him. Um, by finishing second uh, last weekend. But we also have Brian Moss, uh, who's the older brother of Alejandro, who uh, came to me back in 2019, I believe. Um, uh, registered last year due to injury, um, but back on the mat for us. And uh, he, had a, he had a good tournament, uh, fell short of placing. Um, Kimo Kishma Davis, who will be uh, cleared and ready for us in the spring. Um, but at 141, um, Joe Loretto uh, right now is at 33, will be dropping down to 125 for us and who, who will be a, a dominant anchor for us in that 25-pound uh, weight class. And, of course, our senior, only senior we have this year is Dwayne Jennings, um, who's making his way down to 197, but who's a force to be reckoned with right now one at heavyweight. So, um, overall, when it comes to our returners, um, you know, these guys are, are, are competing the way we know they can so far. And talk a little bit about your season. You wrestle in some tough meets starting this weekend in Iowa. Uh, just talk a little bit about the season and what your expectations are for the guys. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, you know, we, we opened up in uh, Little Rock at Euler. Um, and then this weekend we're heading to Des Moines, Iowa uh, to go to the Grandview, Grandview University Open. Uh, you know, Grandview is over, has for the past decade been the top, you know, top team in the nation. And uh, we know that they're going to uh, – competition there is going to be what we need uh, to see if we plan on doing anything in the postseason when it comes to 
uh, conference and uh, national qualifiers or being all American. Uh, so um, this 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 schedule was made by design to to uh, compete against those that we are going to see in the postseason. So um, Iowa this weekend. Uh, I think before we I break them off for Christmas break, we'll be in Concordia, Nebraska, uh, to wrestle duels there and see that side of the country um, and that competition out there. Um, and of course, staying around uh, our local competition, our conference competition, and stuff like that. So, uh, this this schedule is actually was created in mind to prepare for guys that have that uh, that goal to be an All American. If you if we <laughs> the way my thought process was on it when I created the schedule was if we got guys that are good enough and that want to be at that next level and want to make history, then we need to see. We can't run away from our competition. We need to see those guys that we're going to see at nationals and of course you know we'll see the guys we need to see at conference but nationals is, is the big ticket so um we're traveling quite a bit to see those guys now talk a little bit about the uh the amc what to expect in the amc and and what you guys can bring to the table at, in the uh, conference amc um i'm really you know I, i'm very hopeful with the amc tournament this year i think i believe um you know we'll be a while before we see our conference competition but i think we have a run to be uh, top three, um, possibly in the finals as a team. Um, we have that good enough guys, and we have guys, <coughs> excuse me, we have guys that are actually coming in that nobody knows about yet that's going to help us in that second half as we get ready to go for uh, that postseason conference uh, title. Um, it's really up to grass for anybody uh, across the conference. I mean, there's not one dominated team in our conference right now. Um, like, it's had, like it has been in the past, I think every every program has eventually leveled up, not necessarily leveled down, but leveled up to what the toughest competition was back in the day when the conference first started. So everybody, it's, it's, it's really up the grass for anybody. It just depends on which wrestler shows up when it comes to our conference duels and when it comes to our conference tournament. All right, Coach Prophet, thank you very much. Appreciate you.